stop and start over. The story of my life. Stop and start over. <laughs> no, I'm good today, though. Thank you. One hundo. What up, Mike? Hey, Southside Music Forever. How are you, love? Good morning, sunshine. Over there, how are you? Not gonna change. What it do, Nola? Nola, Mr. No, 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 no. Nola MJ Robinson, I got you. <laughs> it sounded out. You got me using my words today. DJ Pleasure, what's up, love? Good morning, good morning, good morning, sunshines. Watch my kicks. Do what you do, but watch my kicks. What up? It's Friday. It is finally Friday, and I feel all right about that. It's almost time for us to get this mix kicked off. Hey, Red with Class, how you doing? Look at your page. I got you, Black Rag. Thank you, love. Matter of fact, I have another one that we're doing Saturday. Doing another one Saturday in Melrose East, which is now the Art District. Gotta love it. Gonna do something special for the residents of Melrose East. Hey, Shay. How you doing, Shay? Good morning, sunshine. It's slow today. I got a couple of meetings later. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a break and come back later. I really came in here in sweats and kicks today. Like, it's good. <laughs> hey, and it's storming outside. I saw Noah's Ark pass by on the way here. I saw a little rainbow across the sky. I felt all right about it. Then the closer I got to work, the sky got black. Just bottom fell out. Like, should I swim back home? Lord, is this a sign? He's waiting over for a thing. He's looking at the clock, looking at 430 like, and 430 just looking back at you like. <laughs> hey, 35 Big Daddy. How you doing, 35 Big Daddy? Hey, Omar. How are you? Hey, Dan. Good morning, Dan. I've done some random research, too, and I need somebody to help me figure this out. And Sunday is National Potato Day, so we got questions that need answers. Questions that need answers. And also, um, the Daily Beast, they put Fox News on blast. <laughs> I can't make this up. Like, I'm not smart enough to make this up. And you got to see it because I found it. I found it interesting. And I want to share. Because <laughs> sharing is caring. That's what I'm saying. I love potatoes. <laughs> I'm with you. Max 94.1, Baton Rouge is official. Number one for hip-hop and R&B. It's about that time we do some mixing and maxing and maxing and mixing in the midday with my DJ, DJ Mario. It's Friday. Hopefully it's payday so you can let me hold something. But you know we're about to turn it all the way up right here with Max 94.1. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Duffy, Duffy. Yeah! Like a surf Friday. <laughs> hey, Mean Joe Greenway. What's up, Mean Joe Green? How you doing? <laughs> hey, Trouble 225. Hey, Charlie's Angels. How you doing? Hey, Defined by One. What's up, love? Hollywood 225. I see we got 225 repped out. I love it. Hey, love. Herbie Love 44. What's up, Herbie Love? DJ Mario, and I have your chance to win $1,000 coming up at 11 o'clock, too. $1,000 at 11 o'clock with the national payday. It was payday. Bills was like, payday for who? For them? For Bills? <laughs> Bills say, let me get that. Between Uncle Sam, Uncle Sam, and payday for Bills? <laughs> Ain't nobody looking for Friday or payday. <laughs> like, depression. <laughs> hey, certificate. What's going on, certified MC1, Mike? Hey, Carlo. Here we go with this Kiki. Kiki don't love you no more, bro. Let go. Let go. Not let go, let go. <laughs> let go, let God. Because Kiki got to go. <laughs> Can I win you for life? Oh. What you ask for, you be stuck with me, be like, man, bro, somebody come get this chick, <laughs> somebody come get her. <laughs> hey, Dorian's world, what's up, love? <laughs> bro, <Bruh. laughs> Drake is emotional. I'm tired of Kiki too. <laughs> like, bro, every Kiki I see right now just wanna walk up. You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Can I be your Kiki? No. <laughs> Not Kiki, please, y'all. Let Kiki go. <laughs> 
Let Kiki go. Play Lil Duval, living my best life. Bruh, that is the theme song. Why? I ain't going back and forth with you. <laughs> At any given moment. Like, I said it, it is what it is, and that's just that. I ain't going back and forth with you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Cause you're right, certified MC. Come on, Kiki better take her. <laughs> Hey, what up, Patrick? Play some Kiki Wyatt. You ought to be afraid of Kiki Wyatt. I don't care how good she sing, you never forget that broad is crafty with a knife. Never forget, my friend. Hey, Elvel, what's up? Hey, Tanji, gotta get at you on some business. How can we link slide in my DMs? I'm all about the business. Let's get the business done. That <laughs> boy say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Don't do that to Kiki. Kiki is obviously the most beautiful thing he ever laid his eyes on. He love her. She beautiful to him. Drake. Drake is running in the pool of baloney water. Don't do one. Don't do one. Elvel, what up? Hey, Mr. B.S. Down South. Mr. B's Down South. That's what that is? Mr. B's Down South. <laughs> What's up, Hill the City? What's up, my love? Hey. You see the madness? I'm at work. Kiki is a side chick that nobody know about. Keep her in the closet. Mm -mm. If, if Kiki is his side chick action, I'd hate to see how you feel about his main one. <laughs> hey, sugar. So wait a second. I don't know if you heard about this or no, but um, I can't make this up. The Daily Beast, they put Fox News on blast because, you know, we're playing for the family of Aretha Franklin. And we all assume that the world knows who Aretha Franklin is. Well, whoever decided to post this obituary in memory of, for Fox News, of Aretha Franklin, they posted a picture of Aretha Franklin on the front, and then in the back, they had a performance shot on the obituary picture of Aretha Franklin, but it wasn't Aretha. It was Patti LaBelle. Jesus, take the wheel. I can't make this up. Like, nobody approved of that. Nobody checked and said, hey, hey, that's a no-no. That's a, I, I'm not lying on these people. Wait, let me show you. Let me, let me show you. See this right here? Now, that's Aretha, right? We know. That's the queen of soul. We know Aretha when we see Aretha. Now, I just glanced over a little bit. Do you see this? I don't even have to zoom in. We, that's she singing, somebody loves you, baby. Right there. That's that note she hit. Whoa, whoa. That's not Aretha. But where did they put it? Bruh, I can't make this up. Look at that. Who? Who's in charge of that? Who's in charge? I need at least three heads to roll for that. I feel some type of way. Like Aretha is ain't T to me. That's ain't T Reed. I don't need you playing around with her like that. That's disrespectful. Like, it ain't even funny. It's so disrespectful. Like, play with Elvis like that. What, what make you think you can play around with Aretha Franklin like that? That's not accidental. You can't justify it. Like, come on, bruh. What you doing? What, what you doing? Somebody need, right, somebody need these hands in these streets. That's how I feel. You right. You right, y'all green. I'm with you. Now, usually I don't condone that, but today, I'm with you. We need to walk in there, flip a table, and get it off our chest today. Today. Boy, say that's what happened when you make America great again. Bruh, that, that's that foolishness. That's foolishness. The DailyBeast.com posted it. And, and it, that boy say fire everyone. Everybody got to go. Everybody got to go. Like that's her singing in the background. That's Patty. I didn't even have to zoom in for you. Be right. Put some respect on that. They did not. That's disrespectful, but they did it for the retweeting the hashtags. Okay. And in the world of social media, we understand that everybody wants to do something so they could be the trend and they could be the most talked about. But where is the fine line? Is there no boundary? Is it okay as long as people talk about it? And then it just goes away? That is never okay. Like, that's, that's, that's not okay. That's like Michael Jackson dying and y'all putting Prince in the background. Like, nobody asked if 
you're not familiar with the singer, you just kind of guessing. Ask somebody to your right or to your left, and if they don't know either, nobody doing fact checks around here. It's a sad day. Everybody got to get get out. Everybody got to get out. To, to the door. To the door. I don't know. Well, it's still up on the dailybeast.com. I'm sure Fox took it down by now. I'm, I'm, ho I'm hoping. But um, the dailybeast.com, they posted it. Bruh. Excuse me. Moment. Hey! We all got some ratchet in us. Don't you be mentioning them little bland pies. Leave Patty and them pies alone. Don't do it. Don't do it. Them little pies are blonde. They ain't no sweet potato pie. But leave Auntie Patty alone. Let her make it, bro. Let her make it. Oh, magic. Hey. Okay, so I've done some random research, right? Random research. Sunday is National Potato Day. You like potatoes? Like potatoes? That team Max turn it up. Sunday is National Potato Day, and they've done a research that only conducted, I guess, about, nah, I guess, their group of folks. And they say about 99% of Americans love potatoes. I'm with that. And nobody is out of love with the French fry, right? National Potato Day, how do you like your fries? Do you like them baked? Do you like your french fries fried? Do you like them waffle? Who has the best fries? Questions that need answers. Who has the best fries? What are we pulling up at on Sunday for National Potato Day for these fries? Are we making our own? Or no? McDonald's fries be rolling. Raising Cane's fries be rolling. Popeye's fries be rolling. You say check, check, is them rally fries? Ooh, you want them curly? You like them curly? <laughs> right. It's worth the trip to check us for some fries. That and those um, fish burgers they do. <laughs> but we're talking about fries right now. So. <laughs> What's up, Sean? I'll see you on the 25th for the Ryan's Run Walk. I'm looking forward to it. I know you'll be out there with black men run. I'm still looking and recruiting for Team Teens, just so y'all be ready. Doing that with the um, Baton Rouge Sick Cell Anemia Foundation with Ryan Clark. So show up and show out. Downtown Baton Rouge. What? Wait, your band dead. I'm here for one night. What? Where you staying at? reportedly restless. Tell me if you fall within these five categories. Um, they say 41% say relationships. Relationships keeping you up all night. I don't sleep, but it's not relationship problems because I'm solo dolo. Or maybe I'm up all night because I am solo dolo. Maybe I am a part of that 41%. 36% um, say money. Now, they say the lack thereof, I would have fallen in the 36%, but, you know, maybe. Maybe that maybe that's another reason. 30% um, also say that work keep them up late at night. You stressing about going back to work or you still up late night working? 28% say they're stressing about their health so they can't sleep at night. And 14% say the top five reasons of them not being able to sleep at night, politics. 
Fourteen percent said politics. That keeps you up at night. I don't know. He said for him it's work. For me it's Instagram, it's Twitter, and um, Frasier reruns. I didn't make the top five. I guess I'm number six, seven, and eight. <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, eight. Frasier reruns on one. And on the weekends, the monsters they have like um, their marathons that come on on the Cozy Network, C O Z I. Have you ever seen that? They got all the good old school shows. PC on the track. What up, love? for grabs at 11 o'clock. I have the national password. We're giving it away. I'll give you the password and you'll text it to the number 95819. First of all, I'm not going to let you be disrespectful and say that Frasier is low-key funny. Frasier is hilarious. He is the best. I will watch. I got Netflix just for Frasier, okay? Don't do him with the low-key funny. He the bomb. He the bomb. <laughs> I watch it from the beginning all the way to the end. And once it's over, I just start the series all over again. Don't judge me. It's gonna be the ball. Oh, thank you, love. I'm good. At work. Pretending to work a little bit. I showed up. It should be enough. <laughs> what? She showed up. She showed she here. What else you want? <laughs> TLG, what up? Okay, you're right. Not better than the Golden Girls. Now that's the truth. Cause Sophia is a gangster. Ain't nobody out here chin check and Betty White too. Ain't nobody out here chin check and Betty White or Sophia with that. Dorothy was funny too. And Blanche Devereaux. <laughs> Whose grandmama is Blanche? <laughs> what? But not no more. Oh, yes. Excuse me. People say, don't judge me. Late. <laughs> hey, PTZ, what's up? Hey, Kip Mom, what up, boo? Hey, you. Hey, the high class king, how you doing? She don't rock with everybody. What up, DMT, how you doing, love? Y'all have to watch The Office? I've never seen that. I never seen it. I need to watch it. Is it on Netflix? The Office? Turn it up on a good Friday. We are here. Hey, Dr. J. What's up? Hey, Nakia. How you doing, Nakia, darling? I have your chance to win $1,000 coming up at 11 o'clock. I got the magic password. And you'll text it to the number 95819. Married with Children is the funniest show ever. Listen, Al Bundy is just so slow. I can't deal with him. I can't deal with Peggy. Although, my freshman year in high school, I swear I gotta go find the picture. I wanted my hair done like Peggy Bundy. I did. I did. I had the little bouffant and I put the little headband on. It was. Yeah, ninth grade. <laughs> Freshman year, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Peggy was my girl. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm good, love. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, DJ Raja, what's up, babe? Hey, Dre Gambino, what up? Ill Bill, I told you don't judge me. If we're going to be here, this is our space. We can be honest with each other. <laughs> we can be honest with each other. Hey, Binky, wait. Binky, you at school on the phone? You, you in school right now, huh? Talk to me, I'm listening. Just checking. Hey, only one, what's up? Watch that show for years. Yes, listen, the show was the bomb. Her outfits were legit. Her hair was the, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> That's the last secret I share with y'all. We can't, we can't be intimate here because you're not gonna make me feel some type of way about my decisions that I decide to wear my hair like Peggy Bundy. You're not gonna, no, whatever. Max 941, Baton Rouge is official, number one for hip hop and R&B. It's your girl Latangela, Max in the midday with you, and you know we got DJ Mario mixing and maxing and maxing and mixing in the midday. Your chance to win a thousand dollars is coming up. All you have to do is listen up for that national password. Go ahead, text it in, and bloop, just like that, you're qualified to win that thousand dollars. And let your girl hold something. It's Friday. Thousand dollar richer. Sharon is Karen. One max. Ninety four one. Seven units.
That boy saying <laughs> she was kind of fine, though. That's the only reason he was watching the album. He was watching her for Peggy. Or maybe Kelly was his chick. I don't know. Okay, I thought I was tripping. Yeah, see, that's that's why I can't tell you things. Best voice in the land. Uh, thank you, certified MC on the mic. See, that, that, that's why I can't share my inner thoughts with you here because you make fun of me. You're not supposed to do that. We're friends. <laughs> We're friends. If I can't tell it to you, who can I tell it to? Who can I run to? <laughs> who? We all we got. Good morning, sunshine. What's going on out there? This is Molly and Jack Rub like, nah, don't tell nobody else that. Okay, fine. A Aisha the kid, I won't tell anybody else. But I'm telling you, we good. We're good here. We're good here. Wait, did I tell you the other day I got home? And my mom had a package on the doorstep for me. Now, I don't live that far from a Walmart. Because, you know, Walmart's all over Baton Rouge. And if you want to stop at a Walmart, you can. You can, right? You wanted to be MC Hammer? There's nothing wrong with that. MC Hammer is still that guy. I love him. I love him. So, you know what, Mean Joan Green? Never give up the dream. You can still be like MC Hammer. You can still do it. As a matter of fact, I'll get you the um, parachute pants. I'll teach you a routine. And we'll take this show on the road. I believe in you. Mara, how about baby? I see you. Hello. So, back to what I was saying about my mom. And she got these jokes. I get to the house. I'm all excited because I got this box on the doorstep. I'm thinking, oh, mama, they hooked me up with something fly. Because ain't nobody sending nothing but my mama. So, it's cool. I open the box. The box is kind of heavy. So, I'm walking on in. Like, <laughs> what's good? It had two boxes of... Kellogg's Total Cereal. My mama put Kellogg's Total Cereal. She also ordered me cans of pineapples and cans of beets. No lie, bro. No lie. I called her. I said, hey, ma, I got a package here for you. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's for you. <laughs> ma, I got a package here for you. <laughs> oh, no. That's for you. I know that you go to the store, but you're not going to get it for yourself. You got to eat your beets. The beets are really good for you. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, this broad could at least, she could have at least added something in the box I wanted. Like, it's cool, though. It's cool. Hey, Droll, what's up, my love? How you doing? I ate the pineapples. They were really good. I finally got to the point to where I started opening the beets because I read yesterday that beets are very good for you. They're like um, the key to slowing down the um, the gene that causes Alzheimer's. It's good for your digestive system. All that good stuff. Like, she's not going to just send it to me. She's sending me stuff because it serves a purpose and because you should have it and because it's good for you. Just, just do it. Can't argue with the woman, right? And if I get, you know, to the point to where I got to keep stocking all the stuff up in my pantry and I don't eat it, and if she so happy to come over there and open the door and see all of it, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. A situation, like, and I don't, want, I don't want them problems with my mom, you know what I mean? So I'm eating the beets, and I'm realizing it's not so bad. I like roasted beet salads. My, my mama loves me. She's my best friend. She all I got in this world. All I got. So I, I told her I like roasted beet salads. Well, roast your beets. I don't know how. Like, I don't I don't know how. So this morning, she decides to Google how to prepare roasted beets. <laughs> I got this link. She's sending me all this stuff. Did you read the link I sent you? <laughs> Somebody please come get my mom. Somebody please come get the woman. That's all I ask of thee. Come get her. <laughs> Somebody come get her. <laughs> Everything I eat, my mom will get a headache from all the pork. No, my mom, not that. You won't find no pork in the house. L. Bell say, donate. Hey, Grievous, what's up, love? What's up, Kim? Everything, what, listen, you come on over there. I got some kale at the crib. We're going to steam some kale tonight. Uh, I got you. Me and Joe Green, you leave that pork alone, get you some beets. That headache, that headache will go away. <laughs> come on, come on over, bro. Come on over. <laughs> I have a, give me the address. I have a send you a care package. You know she will. Roll you off your pork? He said, no pork, no pork. Cocaine ambassador. What's up, love? No. You know, I usually ask how you got the name, but I do not want to know. Let's preface it that way. I do not want to know how you became the cocaine ambassador. Brett, what's up, Brett? How are you, love? 
Grievous say I'm still waiting for my plate. Man, you know how many plates behind you are? You don't show up because you don't have time for the little folks. That's all it is. If I save the plate, it'll start growing mold. You don't want that. Hey, I'm still. How you doing? Is I, I'm still eating 88. What's up, love? Hi, Don Lee. How are you? Hey, Tangicles. <laughs> More like the Tang Chronicles. How you feeling, love? What up, Angie Tubbs? Here come trouble walking through the door. Now listen, we don't lie, so don't come up here saying something you ain't got no business saying. You hear me? <laughs> that fool say, I'm glad you let me know, because I was tipping through the door like, looking all good and glamorous. What you going on a Friday? It's payday for somebody who? What? Let me hold something. How much you need, babe? <laughs> Surprise me. Gas is always good. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's Friday. You coming up here with work? Hell yeah. I mean, yeah. Y'all, I just told you I came today. I showed up. It should be enough. Did we not? We just held this conversation. If she was listening, she would not be expecting me to do some work. TGIF, right. I showed up. Hey, new King B. How you doing, love? Angie, what you want? I'm going to give you a trip. Here she go. Uh, so can you address this, please? Okay, here, I can do that for you. That's easy. That's easy. Now, the big part is about to come. She start off with the lightweight. Oh, I just need. And never trust her with a smile. Because if she's smiling, she's plotting. Don't be smiling at me. I just can't. Where this one going? Same place. Okay. Because I can't get those links to work. I'm going to send it to Tiffany so she can get it to work on her. I wonder why. And who is the end? Yeah, it was. I didn't see that. Okay. I'm trying to see it all. I got to see it at this moment. Okay, I got you. I got you. Hold tight, y'all. I'm coming. So I figured if I just put the addresses and then they can look and tell because the link's on work. Okay. You can. I got you. And then. You don't want to send it all at one time. Right. And they, they work on it because they email me back and forth. And That's okay. I want it to be one swift movement for you. Here you go. And then let me email it to you a different way, too. Okay, okay. wait a minute. Quick question because she's a cook, too. You know what I mean? So Sunday is National Potato Day. How are we preparing the potatoes? Are we going to fry the potatoes? You bake the potatoes? We're going to get some potato fries? French fries because I don't eat potatoes anyway. Okay, French fries. Now, do you like the waffle fries? Do you want them baked? You can do curly fries. Waffle fries. And I bake them. Waffle fries and she bake them. See, I told you, bestie. What's up, good breezy? I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm about to email it to you again right now. A different way this time. You are beautiful. I love it. She hooked you up? Yes. Tell her that's why we love her as a client. She is that true. What up, Papu? What's up, my love? <laughs> it's coming to you in less than 10. Like, she really came through the door and put me to work. Like, didn't I say I wasn't working today? Nobody believes me, though. And what I'm going to do? I'm going to work. But when they leave, I'm going to threaten not to again. Mind control. Mind control. <laughs> That's deep, Papu. How do you say that? WTP? Hey, WT. WT. I'll do WT because I can't miss WT up. the place sucks. I like going to the Tula. I put box on the We got less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. He said that's the warm up, right? But that the part, <laughs> the part that you're missing, <laughs> the warm up. Mm -mm. By the time she come back, I'm gonna be gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Should have called me when I was listening. Should have called me when I was listening, player. So I'm coming. Handsome, what's his name? You know what's talking about that's the warm up. Yeah, she comes to him through the door talking about um You good? <laughs> no. Big cop, what's up, love? What it do? Hey D Jones, how you feeling, love? Cheers to the weekend. Abbas, how are you? I have no idea what he 
just said on that song, but it's rolling. Just like Janet Jackson and Daddy Yankee got this new song out. I don't know what he's saying, but he's jamming, so I'm with it. And, and it's Janet Jackson that's cuz, so it's good. It's good. <laughs> Let's see here. Um. Oh, he's so handsome. What's his name? Uh. Dixon boy, how are you, love? What y'all got up for today? All right. Uh uh. One more, and then I'm done. Just like I never won the thing from y'all. You try to win something else? I'm with you. Today is a thousand dollars and it's coming up in a few minutes. I said I like it like that. Hey, certified Scorpion Queen, how are you, love? Right now to the number 95819. That's P A R T Y to the number 95819. We'll text you back to confirm your entry. Data and messaging rates may apply. It's a thousand dollar summer on Max 9401. Did you get that? Text the keyword party, P A R T Y, to the number 95819. Deborah Keller, come here. Text party to the number 95819 for your chance to win a thousand dollars. Because it sounds like you type 35 first for me. <laughs> Hey man, listen, let me tell you something, boy. We'll be over tearing the keyboard down if we need to. Y'all say hi to the boy killer. Happy What's going on? Friday. It's Friday. Weekend. Come on and join us. What? Me. Hit it. Jigga train yes. coming through. Yes. Jigga train coming through. Ooh. Join us. Yeah. Now, if I dip it low and I need help up, just help me up now. What? <laughs> Won't it only help me up? Look, come on out. Let me, let me, can I go for it? Come out and worship with us on um, Sunday as our church celebrates 124 years. Wow. Roberts United Methodist Church in Denham Springs, the oldest African-American church in Denham Springs. We're going to have a great celebration. So come on out and join us as we get a parade zone. What time is that? 11 o'clock a.m. Now, come wait on. a second. Now, listen. Let, 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 let me tell you something. You're going to get your praise on. But you know, if they've been there 125 years, they're going to start at 11. What time of service? 11 till? <laughs> well, maybe three. But that's okay. Oh, Lord, because no, she going to feed you good. She gonna feed you good. Feed you real good. Right. Yeah, we're gonna right. feed you real good. Y'all gonna have green beans? I don't know. I show up. I, listen, I show up for Jesus and green beans. That's what it's gonna take. That's hey. <laughs> <laughs> Are you preaching a Sunday? But I love you, though. No, I love you more. I'm not going to preach this Sunday, though. Okay. I'm following Sunday. So join us then, too, as well. Okay. That's what's up. Now, listen, I've been taking notes. So mm -hmm. let me go ahead and give you a couple of these key words that you need to hit on in the middle of the service. Come that's going to be like, if you hit a, you heard me, <laughs> it's going to catch their attention. In the middle of your scripture, you stop and just hit them with a, you heard me. You heard me. What? Well, wait. Yeah. No, you got to put the heard. You, you heard me. You heard me. That, there okay, you have it. Yeah. Said, you that's right. Me? Right, right, right. Yeah. And then on another part, right in the middle of it, you're going to say, run that, run that, run that, run that, run that, run that. That's right, real. That's all you need. Some key <laughs> phrases. You got to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to play with you, Deborah Keller. Oh, crazy. Text me the information on that this Sunday, please, for this Sunday. Okay. I right, love you. <laughs> Can't take y'all. No, but look at how you are. All right, Joe, listen, I really got to get ghost because I got to get back here for a couple of meetings. But text the keyword party, P-A-R-T-Y, P-A-R-T-Y, to the number 95819. P-A-R-T-Y, party, to the number 95819. Got about 15 minutes to do it, so you need to be texting me now. Text party, 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 to the number 95819. Forget about your dog. That's low. Uh, so it's I gotta go. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Happy Friday!